Hi, I'm Cole. Hi, I'm Matt. Uh, and we're talking about the uh, movie Do the Right Thing. Um, by Spike, I, Spike yeah. Lee. Yeah. I just watched the movie a couple, uh, so a week ago or so. I've never seen it before, but I was, um, I was just like, because it's Black History Month, I wanted to like watch something of that nature, and I've never seen any Spike Lee film or joint. Um, and I loved it. I got, I got yeah, it such a good. It definitely deserves some. The title, the titles that has been granted over the years. Yeah. Um, it's it it just it had it had so much like character because it really is a slow burning movie. He's following the uh, M- Mookie Mookie you played by Sp- Spike Lee himself. Yeah, and you follow him and like even him himself is kind of just this this floater character in this sea of other characters in this like Brooklyn scene. Yeah, he's movie. like the closest thing we have to a protagonist in the movie, but but there's really like no pro- no protagonist to the film. And all. the beauty of it is that's that like you you were just in a day of the life it's literally in mm-hmm. a twelve hour radio show, and by, it was just hosted by um what's what's his name Ooh, Doctor Love yeah Doctor yeah, played by Samuel Samuel Jackson, Jackson. Yeah. yeah and um, it's just this twelve hour radio show where you just see a day in the life of all these characters and and all these different races and all these different um like uh, ethnicities and and f- hatred. And like underlying between all of it, the Hispanics, um, the Hispanics hate the uh, these people, and then the um, Jamaicans hate you know the Koreans for being being all that. Everybody kind of hates each other. Yeah, yeah. But they don't ever say it. Like they they just they're, 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 they're in their head. Very aggressive. And it just it's nature. just a slow burn kind of movie where all of this hatred underlies, and it just it's just a truthfully, and like I got the feeling because I could I've seen a, like a thousand kind of like. Um, civil rights kind of movie movies that this movie just kind of like it you when it did crush and burn when, when it literally burned yeah everything burned the italian um restaurant burned you, you felt that you know you know like this is yeah. happening in our yeah it's country. crazy not like that we were ignorant no too, but like but I, the film definitely holds up with its portrayal of hatred and Pent up aggression. It's poetic. It's very poetic. Very poetic. It's kind of like a plays out kind of like a modern day Greek tragedy in sort of ways. You got all these vibrant and colorful characters that are full of life. Mm-hmm. Then they kind of become exposed and naked towards the end. Where you, I'm not sure if you could look at the characters the same way again after the movie because it's, it shows some how way you portray yourself on the outside isn't really who you are on the inside. Yeah. And you know some of the <coughs> conversations that they, they like some of the things that he did. We I was talking about. I was like, I think you wrote it. It's like prophetic. Um, how like we we've been we've been talking about these issues since. I mean, of course, they've been talking about them since before like the '60s. But like this movie came out in '70. No, '89. '89. Um, so we've been talking about these issues forever, and we have a movie that you know show, is showing like police brutality right on the floor. Mm-hmm. It's probably one of the first movies that shows like police brutality, racism, hatred, all these things, and, and you're, these are still modern yeah. issues, you know? It's and still, um, when, you, <clears throat> when you start the movie, you're expecting a scene like that, but the film distracts you by the, the mas- love and the, and the culture. culture. Yeah, and the masterful um, filmmaking by Spike Lee. So, but when the, when a scene like that happens, your jaw's to the floor, and you um, feel a lot of um, bleakness and anger. Yeah. And even using like the the song radio, the character Radio Raheem, he carries this big, big radio boombox, and he plays the only song he plays is Public Enemies' "Fight the Power," and I mean that conflict with Sal and him and, yeah. at the restaurant, the, the culmination of everything is just like he he won't turn off his music, he won't turn off "Fight the Power." Uh, because he is his music he has the right to put on the music mm-hmm. and he's like I won't turn off the music until um, Sal the Italian restaurant owner puts up a picture of Malcolm X or a, a, you know a historical black history history kind of character on the Hall of Fame but Sal is like I only want my heritage on my wall because it's my restaurant and that's where the conflict comes and yeah from. and Spike Lee actually said in an interview in that argument in that situation Spike Lee himself believes that Sal is the right one in the argument since it's his restaurant, which I found very interesting that Spike Lee himself took that stance. Well, and I, but I don't believe that 
none of them are right and none of them are wrong. Yeah. No, everybody messed up. Everybody was wrong and everybody mm. was like... Yeah. Because even like... He never victim villainized no. the white man. No. And he never villainized the black man. And he never villainized the Koreans or any of the other races. Mm-hmm. He just said like, we are all living with his own hatred. We're yeah. all equally hating but each other. But he also says we're also filled with love, which I think is another yeah. important point that the film makes. That we can overcome hate if we try and listen. Yeah. And I've never seen a, like a Spike Lee film, but like in more like the, s- the cinematography of it, it's it really is a fun film to watch. Very, you know, like very vibrant. He breaks every single rule of mm-hmm. filmmaking, and, and I personally like that because I don't think film or art should be doesn't have rules. Have rules. But I think it's important that you know them so you can break them. But you know, he'll be just the scene will be happening, all of a sudden the camera will just break the fourth wall, and the characters will be you know talking to the camera as if it's the person, and and it's it's in its way it reminded me. You know, it's very like. Not, not religious, that sounds corny, but it's like, it's like almost like these guys are like, like, lis- listen to me, like, this is the statement of, of my culture, I need you to know that, like, these are, this is, we're lived with, with, with dual wielding love hate, like, this is my say, and then it just snaps back, and we're suddenly back into the scene, I don't know, it's just kind of this, like, his way of just addressing, like, this is the point of my movie. And there's, there would be other scenes if it was under a different direction, or like, you know, or didn't follow like this beautiful written screenplay by Spike Lee, it would come off extremely cartoonish. Mm. Yes. But Spike yeah. Lee's direction and his empathy for the actors and his beautiful writing makes it seem like otherworldly, but yet worldly at the same time. Yeah. Which I was very impressed with. Like, um, that one scene with um, with all the racist monologues. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. You yeah. and they're going on about like all of them. Each each race, each like the, like of the conflict in races, all had a moment where they just broke the fourth wall and just were like, literally just cursing at each other. Like the black was cursing at the Italian guy who was you know being racist, and the, then the Italian guy was being racist towards the black guy, and then the Korean guy was yelling at the Jamaican guy who was being racist. You know, like everybody was just yelling at each other, like indirectly in the fourth wall. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Which is an awesome. That yeah. was an aw- like, yeah, in awesome of creative nowhere. choice. Yeah, <laughs> um, to show the conscience. It's it's not supposed to be like a literal scene. Um, so that's why I found it. That scene would have been very cartoonish. It was like under like a very um, um different direction. Just a different yeah. director. Yeah, I agree. And um, even like <coughs> the idea, just like it was the hottest day in Brooklyn. You know, yeah. it was like and you feel sw- it. It's a you feel it. Pot. Yeah. And on top of it, like it kind of it's like it's literally the, the what is it called like the hot pot of culture in yeah. Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. So there's all these cultures. It's it's a it's like a soup of of hatred. Everybody's on edge. They're all sweating and this and that. And it, it draws out that you know need, that 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 interaction to its teeth. I think it was just a, a, a movie that I think truthfully. It needs, it it's should be a, watched. It's an American classic. Yeah. Um, it's going to stand the test of time, and it already has what, like 30, 30 plus years. years. I mean, um, things they're talking about in the movie are happened 100 years before, and they're going to happen 100 years after. Oh, well, you can always hope, hope not. Hope but. not, but, you know, that's what that's the type of dueling statement that he tries to portray at the end of the film. Which We, yeah, we, which we can good. overcome it if we try, but as it looks right now, we're not doing yeah, it. We're not doing Nobody's a great job. Yeah. 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 I mean, people are Pick making the Take the love effort. over the hate. Yeah. Yeah. People are making the effort. It's just, it's, it's, some people are just imbued with that, that mind, this mindset of hate and whatever. And it's just, it's hard. You can't, you can't, you know, change everybody's mind about everything. It's just an awful thing to say, but it's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think it was a, a movie everybody needs to see. I it's think a, it's a definitely like an A. It's a near masterpiece. Yeah, for me. It's a near masterpiece, yeah. So. Well, I'm Cole. I'm Matt. Thank you guys for watching.